and welcome into Jobs Getting Better with Age. You know, I've often said, my wife often said, when you retire, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to keep going. Well, today my guest is a person that keeps going. Jimmy Pruitt, so good to have you with us, buddy. My pleasure, and you, and you and I, we go back many, many a year. Oh, boy. But I want to tell you, I'm so happy when I can call and talk to this guy because two things. You've been a very much a part of this community. And number two, you're a vibrant person. Thank you for that compliment. Absolutely. You keep it going. And you know what this guy has done? And kind of like when people are retiring, if you've heard about the Eastbrook Philly Market, you've got a booth there. Oh, boy, do I. <laughs> do you? For 20 years now. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that. I'm the Vinyl Haven. That's what I call my booth, the Vinyl Haven. I buy and sell records, mm -hmm. albums, mostly. Right. Yeah. And other stuff. Stuff, that's our favorite word at each book. Is stuff. stuff. <laughs> well, that's what's all about. A bunch of, there's a bunch of stuff there. Oh, boy, it's huge. I think we're the largest in the South. Is that right? Uh, yeah, we have s several hundred vendors. You know, Three it's... Three floors. Well, it's the old... If you have been around Montgomery a long time, it used to be Montgomery Fair Department Store. Sure it was. It, it's what it was years ago. So it was an actual department store that had a basement, a first floor, and a second floor. Yeah. It was ri originally the Montgomery Fair. In yes. In 1953, it opened. And then it wow. stayed there until the early 60s. And it moved to Montgomery Mall and changed the name to Gaffer's, which that's everybody's right. heard. Yeah, that's nice. When that building was still, and it's a great building. Oh yeah, it's a very, it's a very good building. And it's located in the Eastbrook Shopping Center, which I am so happy, Jimmy. They maintain that shopping center very nicely, don't they? They have, and and I think that uh, Miss Dot McDaniel owns the building. Oh, not the strip mall, but, but just, just that the building. building. She got a hold of that, and uh, she. Uh, I think she saved that mall. You know, strip oh, malls yeah. are having trouble all over. You the have world, to have right? an anchor. Yeah, you got to have somebody to, st to start the drawing. That's and right. And after that, everybody comes, and so mm -hmm. it's they're virtually full now. It's got uh, plenty of uh, plenty of different things to see. We got food outlet. We got a Dollar General, and got all kind of different mm -hmm. bits. A postal uh, post office branch there. You know. And it's, so it's very vibrant. Hey, absolutely. Yeah. And when you and I were talking. You've sold over 10,000 albums. I have, yeah, it's the, been amazing. And it, during the and past. most of my customers, 80% of them are young people who wasn't even around when those records were cut. Well, I know, and you know, the interesting thing about it is, we, you know, with technology and things moving, people are now going back to just saying, I want the turntable. Oh, yeah. That I can put that record on, set the arm on there and listen. And they like that little sound, and my customers all tell me, my young customers, that digital music's just too clean. It they is. They don't like that. That's right. They like that little crackle, crackle, and pop, yep. pop background noise. Yep. You know? Which makes it nice. Yeah. When when the CDs came out in in 1980, uh, I had I have now and did then about 400 records in my private collection. Wow. And so I've been listening to vinyl for over 60 years. My you know? goodness. And so I think I. T I'll, I, t I told people I never bought a CD because I had all the songs I wanted to hear Absolutely. on my vinyl. And so I, I'm still playing vinyl after 60 years. Isn't that know? amazing? And don't own any CDs. Yeah, that makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, but technology is just moving so fast. I don't know what's next. <laughs> well, as long as it's being done the right way. Yeah. You know, we've, we, you, know you and I go back long ago when everything was, if I shook your hand, it meant something. Yeah, that's and right. We've, oh, we've yeah. kind of lost a little bit of that in our well, society. Well, left your door now. unlocked, you know. Amen. <laughs> that that and left your keys in the car. Oh, there you go. You did yeah, everything. Know, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you could do anything. Oh, you could sit on your porch in the spring, in the summer, you know, and rock in the chair and and hope not have a drive by. <laughs> and, and the kids could go out and play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just and had to be in at dark. That's right. And uh, you know, and it had uh, all these all these traditions. Mm -hmm. that are no longer around, you no, know. No, but Eastbrook is the hub of nostalgia. It is. That, people come out there, on, and especially on the weekends, and I love to sit in my booth there on the aisle and hear them reminisce and talk as they come mm -hmm. by. Say, oh, Grandmama had that vase in her house, you know. Yep. Now, I love Nana's house, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. <laughs> That's right. It's, it, again, even though it's a place you can buy and sell, it's almost like a museum. 
Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. It is. I mean, it's unbelievable what's in there and what people. I tell everybody laughingly, I said, if it's not in here, the astronauts probably took it to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where they need to leave it. Yeah, I know. Yep. It, yeah, yeah I, I, buy, I buy records. I Good. buy classic rock. You know, like the Eagles and the mm -hmm. Stone, Rolling Stones. Right. And I buy jazz, and mm -hmm. I buy blues, and I buy R&B, and I buy soul, and I buy country. Because ah. that's the niche that the kids are buying these Okay, days. the younger that's, people. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're looking for. Yeah. And I wish I had room for show tunes and movie soundtracks and all that. Yeah. But I don't have that much room in my booth for ah. that. Ah. Yeah. That'll make, that makes a difference. I know it does. Absolutely. And basically, you're open... Seven days a week, right? Oh, yeah. Open are you seven. there all every day, or you take uh, a day off? Most afternoons. I don't ever get there till afternoon. That's I'm, good. I'm kind of a, not, not, a, not a morning person. Good. But <laughs> In then, my old age. That's it. So you go to Eastbrook Flea Market and just ask them, where's Jimmy Pruitt with all of his records? They'll direct you to the right place. And, buddy, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, And I'll Jack. be by to see you. That okay? was great fun. Amen. And just remember this. Jobs getting better with age means don't hang it up. Go find something else that you love to do. And we'll be right back right after this.